Hey, what's up guys? This is my first video of many where I break down how I produce and mix in Pro Tools. Uh, I'm going to go through all the things from, you know, vocal production to editing to in-depth mixing. This is my song, Still Waters, and I'm going to show you how I did the vocal production here. Uh, I didn't produce this song. My friend Johnny Collier did the full production, but I did the vocal side in the recording, and I'm going to show you what I did for my vocals. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play it here. I've been running all night, caught up in a fight. The devil don't sleep, so why should I? So I started with uh, a left and right main vocal here because I wanted the song to start really wide. And, uh, and so I just did a, a simple left and right for the melody. But then what's interesting is that behind it, I added a whisper track, which is the first time I've ever done this for a song and it's super fun. You can listen to it here. Let me solo it. Sounds super creepy soloed, but uh, if you layer it like this, it just creates a, a really cool atmospheric texture that really helps the song. In the flood of your and then I added uh, some breaths, emphasizing a phrase at the end of this verse right here. Still whispering there. But when you throw on some verb, it sounds super cool. Still and then going into the chorus here. Still waters. Still waters all around me now. I went ahead and added the uh, center vocal whenever the chorus starts, just to add uh, more fullness and to really catch the, the listener's attention when the chorus hits so that they just know it's the chorus. It's always helpful to do something new whenever the chorus hits. And uh, so I went ahead and added that here. Still waters. Still waters. Still waters all up. Now jumping into the tag section. I just uh, did some hums here, just matching what's happening in the cello. And then going into this next section, I jump up an octave. I know you saw me out. You tried to make me drown. And for this part, I kept a low track underneath, or a low uh, melody which is really just this, the thing I started, the octave that I started the song in, right here. And I have that underneath, but just panned to the right a little bit, so that it doesn't interfere with the, uh, the main center vocal right there. All right, so jumping into the next chorus, things get a little busier. All right, let's look at these stacks. This is where things get a little, uh, a little more interesting with the vocal production because I'm just slowly building the song. That's kind of what we wanted, just, just have a, a slow build for the song where it just gets really intense towards the end. So what I did is I, uh, I went ahead and panned the center tracks differently in the stacks just to make sure everything doesn't get too convoluted. Still waters. Let's just break down and look at this first stack here. Still waters. That's a higher octave. Still waters. Obviously. And that's panned to the right a little Still bit, the center one. And then I have this lower octave stack. Still water. Still water. And that one's also panned similarly, but it's a lower octave, so it still works. Still it's not really competing much. And then going on to the next section here, to the final chorus. Still waters. Still waters. Still waters all around me now. All right, let's look at the final chorus of the song. I'm singing another uh, stack here. Still waters. And just kind of singing at a higher intensity on top of the other stacks. Still waters. At the high octave here and then the low octave. Still waters. With just a, 
this other stack in the green here that's more of a it's almost like a harmony that's happening but i'm just singing on top of my other high stack to add even more to the song there and again this is uh this is all layered in pretty well so this stack here isn't even it's hardly noticeable in the final mix but it just adds more uh intensity to this section and then we have this final stack Still alive. and that is clearly not my vocal uh, i wish i could build like that but uh, that's my producer who got in the booth and he uh, sang about three feet away, two, three feet from the mic and just belted it. Um, and then we just tucked that and layered it into the final section here. Uh, so we have this here. We have these three uh, tracks just again, left and right. And then one pan slightly to the left, but then we have another final um, layering here. I'll solo it. Stay where he's just really belting it and singing uh, on top of his last stack, just as a final kind of touch to uh, to uh, max that intensity for that section. Let's just listen to all of it right here. Still waters. Still waters. Still waters. But just barely in the in the back, tucked in really well. And yeah, so that's what we did for the vocal production for Still Waters. Uh, all of the layers just tucked in uh, very subtly in certain parts. Really helps to add the, to the fullness of the uh, vocal production. And again, this was just super fun uh, for me to work on and very different from my other songs. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be breaking down lots of other songs in the coming videos when it comes to, you know, mixing, production, just really everything that I've been working on. I want to show you uh, and give you just a, an inside look. So thanks for listening.